So you started a girl's month when he was in recovery, right? Yeah, pretty much. And the first one was tail with that tailgate repaint? Uh-huh. Okay, well, not much missed for me there. But uh, which one of the lovely ladies is next? Well, she's going to be right here. Ooh, I can't wait to meet her. Yeah, well, I'm sure she's going to be happy to meet you too. Ah, get her off! Get her off! I've had enough venom already! Please, get her off now! Ah! Hey YouTubers, Grimmy Dragon here, and it's week two of our month of Femitons, and, well, recently, Tsukarotomi has released three new ones, and we're going to be taking a look at them in the coming weeks, uh, starting with the one that I think turned out the weakest by just a hair, and that would be... Black Arachnia. Okay, so when I say least favorite of the three, um, that doesn't mean I think she's bad at all. I really like her. It's just that there were two others that uh, turned out a little bit better. Uh, but anyway, Black Arachnia naturally is a Black Widow spider, um, and is a repaint and retool of the animated Black Arachnia. Uh, done up to look more like her Beast War self. And for the most part, it does a pretty good job. I mean, the spider legs are mostly in that orange or gold uh, looking plastic, or painted to be that way. With the um, frontmost and rearmost having um, black at the parts that uh, come closest to the body. And it's actually done fairly well. Um, taking a good close-up look, you can see she has the multiple eyes, and done in a pattern that very much resembles the Beast Wars toy. And you can also see that she has a couple very large uh, appendages in front of her mouth. Uh, very similar, again, to the Beast Wars character model, but uh, these are a little bit bigger than what they were, were in the old toys and the show. And there is a very special reason for that, which we'll get into later. Oh, you really don't want to get into it now? I thought you'd be wanting to hold them or something. What? No. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What's the matter with you? But, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, there's any parts there. You can tell what the feet and legs are from robot mode are, but, uh... It's done fairly well. As you can see, the whole back panel is done as the Black Widow Hourglass instead of the tiny little bit that's still molded in. I guess they just wanted to make it bigger. But that's fine, it works for me, it looks good. Now what's really cool about this one is that it can stand on its spider legs in beast mode, which was a highlight feature of the original toy as well. And you may notice the uh, string coming out of the back. Uh, you can actually pull it out, grapple this hook on something like my pinky, and then have her hanging from it. Again, really cool. 
and a very nice feature. There is a button you can push to uh, retract. And it'll come back. Sometimes it doesn't go back all the way though. Which is sad, but it's not the end of the world. You can actually pull it out and it'll retract a little bit more. Pretty cool stuff. Now for comparisons. Well, first let's bring in uh, Beast Wars Tarantulas. I can't find my Beast Wars Black Arachnia anywhere, but uh, this same mold, so this will work. See, quite different, which is pretty good. So they might fit well together um, if you want to put her with their Beast Wars display for some reason. But uh, yeah, you got him with her with her, her with tarantulas, um, and then let's get her with her animated counterpart. Well, you can see how significant the differences are between them. And especially in the heads where this one had more mandible like bits at the front than what these big things are. And you know the general spider head is different. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit, get a try to get them both in shot. You can see the spider heads are considerably different from each other, as well as the paint deco. So there is considerable differences between this black arachnia and the animated one. And that would uh, make it feel less of a straight repaint and more of a retool, which is, it is a retool. <laughs> so, yeah, and yeah, that fell out, but. Whatever. Just pegs right back in. But anyway, um, that would cover Black Arachnia's beast mode. So why don't we get her into robot mode and see how she looks there. Yeah, yeah first thing you look at when you see Black Arachnia, she is very tall. And very busty, but uh, mostly very tall. Um, don't believe me? Just ask Silverbolt, her boyfriend, who has to look up at her. And yeah, I, I'm sure there's somebody who's going to make a joke that everybody's looking at uh, Black Arachnia's chest because it's at eye level with everybody else. And it actually is at eye level with just about everybody else. I mean, maybe not Waspinator. You know, more modern deluxe, but Silverbolt definitely. Um, but yeah, she is quite tall. The result of being an animated mold. She is still very well done. Um, let's get close up at the head. Yeah, the neck is a bit on the long side. Um, might not be most noticeable with mine, but uh, it is quite long. And yeah, she has a rather big chest made up by those uh, spider claw things from the beast mode. I do like the detail that they actually put the spider leg uh, design on her chest like on the CG show. That was a really nice touch. And they got some that's inside and outside, and it all shows through thanks to the translucent plastic. Again, looks very nice. Um, she has the Predacon symbol on her collarbone, um, collar piece, done in yellow. A good touch. And the head is done very well as also, um, you know, she had black eyes in the uh, TV show so all black eyes in here is perfectly show accurate although they are the uh, same translucent yellow that the chest is just hard to see unless you're right in the lights which is fine um, they did get the little black lo oh, 
the little red Black Widow symbol on her uh, forehead. Well done. And her head sculpt is spot on with the um, Beast Wars TV show. Now, sculpt wise, she's done very well. Already went into the chest, so we don't need to go into that. But the rest of her, you can tell it's animated black arachnia, which is okay, I guess. I mean, it was a good figure. But it is a little different from the Beast Wars cartoon. Not by a whole lot, at least. So now, instead of having the guns on the uh, forearms, well, the spider legs on the forearms, they're actually on her back. Four of them, at least. And they are really soft plastic this time. Um, I guess safety standards made it necessary to do a lot softer plastic than what they were in animated. Which is a shame, and it's especially annoying for the uh, ones that make up her legs because that soft plastic makes turning the legs around very difficult and kind of scary. Because I actually had to open up the legs, go through and shave down the uh, mushroom pegs that those legs are on to get a smoother uh, swivel. Because I was actually afraid of uh, breaking them. thought they would actually break off, so yeah, that's something to watch out for. Now, these ones on her arms can swivel, but uh, it's usually kept onto the uh, outward position to better replicate her claw hands in the Beast Wars series. And it does a good job of it. Now let's get into articulation. She does have a ball jointed head, a swivel forward and back due to transformation. <laughs> Sorry, some figures fell behind me. Um, ball jointed shoulders, really tight ball joints too. Really good. Uh, ball jointed elbows, nothing at the wrist. Waist, somewhat. Uh, hindered by the spider legs, but it is there. Ball jointed hips, swivel at the thigh, nice deep knee, and you know, no toe, nothing at the feet. A little, well, a little transformation joint for the toes, but uh, that's about it. All in all, really good articulation. Oh, yeah, she does have an ab crunch too. Again, due to transformation. But it is nice to take advantage of and get her somewhat standing. Now, transformation wise, she is supposed to be like this. As far as to the roll up mode is concerned, where the uh, bottom of the bus meets the waist. But that creates a bit of a problem. Um, let me get this off her back for now. That's a nice place to store it, by the way. But when you have her pose the way they want you to pose her, you get this huge gap right in the middle of her chest, which is very bad looking. And you also notice how long the neck is, given that this is... The same black, like animated black arachnia, um, black arachnia neck, with a smaller head. That neck looks a lot longer. So what I do to counter it is bend the back a little bit further and uh, push the head forward, and she looks a lot better like that. And with the skirt piece kind of up there, uh, it doesn't really show how thin her waist actually is. So, this is what I think works best for her. Uh, as you can see, it's still kind of, from some angles, you can still see that gap. 
So it is a problem. But uh, another nice feature is the weapon. Again, it just retracts and extends. You can fit it on her arm. Which looks kind of weird since it's so big and bulky. Uh, you can still fit it where it was on the uh, beast mode. But what I like to do is there's a peg on the back of her head, on the back of her neck, which you can just peg it into. And yeah, it's a bit of a backpack, but it's optional. And you can sort of hang her by that. It doesn't work too well because the swivel, the forward back swivel on the neck, or the transformation joint, whatever you want to call it, is a bit loose. So I guess the abdomen piece would be a good place to have it. And then you can have her posed hanging upside down very effectively, if that's what you want to do with her. So you can actually have her kind of like upside down, ready to strike, that kind of stuff, which is cool. But if you're going to stand her up, I prefer to put it on the back because it keeps it out of view. I mean, it is quite noticeable on her abdomen. Now we'll just take it off. But I do like the accessory. So let's get her compared with her animated counterpart. As you can see, again, significant differences between the two. Um, that gap wasn't quite as noticeable on the uh, animated toy, but it was there. Let's get her to face the camera at least. And you can see a lot of similarities. The Decepticon symbol is right where the Predacon symbol is on the animated toy. And you can see the significant difference in the chest. Whereas the uh, mandibles form the waist, they form the chest this time. Which is quite an ingenious uh, alteration to make uh, when you think about it. It really does set them apart. Um, next up, we will compare her with Tarantulas, who was repainted into Black Arachnia for the uh, old toy line. And again, she is considerably taller and a lot more feminine than the Tarantulas mold was, so this is a big time improvement. I already compared her to a Voyager. Let's guess get Megs in one more time. I think I already brought her in, brought him in once, but yeah, I mean, he she goes well with Megatron. <laughs> if anything, that's a plus, and that Megatron's perfect for a classic shelf anyway. That's the tenth anniversary one with the new head and all that cool stuff. But yeah, she goes well with that. We just need a Voyager class Silver Bolt now. Just to uh, have someone really cool to pose her with. You know. But uh, yeah, she's actually a nice figure. I do like her. Uh, and I think she will go well with any Classics collection. Uh, classics Beast Wars. Uh, she is a bit tall. Uh, just uh, to warn you, but other than that, she's really good. 
But yeah, that should wrap it up for Black Arachnia. A real nice figure. Um, has her flaws. You know, the soft plastic kind of scares me when I'm trying to transform her, but uh, you know, other than that, she's really good. But it does put her at the uh, third place for my uh, ranking of the three new Femicons. So, well, that and the gap in the chest, that's another knock. But, you know, it's still a nice job, nice uh, surprise. But the next one is my second favorite. So next week, um, from all that, we will take a look at Slipstream. Um, an interesting repaint of Windblade, and we'll see how that turned out. So, until then, take care, have fun, and good night out there, whatever you are. <laughs>